What's up everybody? It's your boy Dragothian here and uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of things. Most notably, I'm going to purchase the full um, the full capability of the Living Legend Bundle and I know I have recommended not to do that since day one. Almost every reputable person that streams and casts and records videos for this game recommends not to because, because of how poor a value it is for what you're paying uh, versus what you could possibly be getting from uh, the research one or you know like the city of hope or fountain of wisdom being the research one or war machine or uh, even resource um, reserves is a really good value because of how many resources you get um, it's always recommended living legend is not the one that you're going to put any money into well I've just noticed ever since starting playing this game four months ago that the whales, uh, especially the heavy spending whales, like the the whale whales, <laughs> um, they always buy them every day, and it's without fail. I, I can log on and expect to see three golden alliance chests sitting waiting for me in my alliance gift box. So it got me curious, and it got me kind of thinking a little bit deeper about why they do that. Uh, cause you know, I don't consider myself a super whale by any means. So I, I just got myself curious cause I'm at the point in the game where, as you can see here at the top, I am currently training, whoops, I'm currently training my T5 archers and it's got seven days left and I've left it that way because I'm going to leave it for another power type event that will grant me sculptures, which is really what I need. Um, I need sculptures to level up my commanders. So um, I'm going to be doing some Living Legends stuff on this, this video. I also wanted to update you on the channel. So I'm creeping closer and closer to 1,000 subscribers, and I want to thank you all for being part of that. Uh, I'm going to be doing some live streaming this coming week. I'll announce a date and time uh, probably during my next video on when I'll be able to do it. I'm going to try and do streaming on the weekends uh, just to connect with you guys, but also to um to maybe do some more Ark of Osiris uh, commentation stream. So it seems like that's the the going thing right now because that's the exciting uh, activity going on in in uh, Rise of Kingdoms. So um, I think I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more often. And again, I'm gonna start having a regular weekend stream for sure, and then maybe pop a stream or two in during the week as well, just to connect with you guys. And if I'm gonna be playing for an hour or two, I might as well pop it up on the screen and let you guys interact with me and tell me what to do or whatever so um, I just want to give you a heads up on all those things a lot of stuff coming down the pipe uh, our, our next Ark of Osiris for our alliances should be coming up in the next week or so uh, so that should be coming and stay tuned for that um, but what, what I'm gonna do uh, during this video is I'm going to again go from 499 to 100 and I'm gonna purchase all three of the top hundred and what we're going to do is we're really going to dissect what exactly you get. So I know what's on the bundle offer on the screen. So when we go here, right, and it lists everything you get, we can quantify that. We can we can say, yeah, this is, you know, okay, so this is 500,000 food, 500,000 wood, 375,000 stone. We got that. And we got a golden key and then a bunch of garbage stars um, for the elite stuff and two Two legendaries is okay, but certainly not worth what we're probably paying for it. And then 70,000 XP, which is good, but still, again, probably not what we're paying for it. Um, and then VIP points, which I don't need anymore, but if I was leveling up my VIP, that would certainly be put to good use. The gems are definitely worthwhile, and that's the main reason I'm doing this, on top of giving you some content that you probably wouldn't be able to do on your own. I want to help you do that. Um, I have the capability to do it. Um, with where I'm at <laughs> so I want to give you the the same kind of content and let you enjoy it and see what happens so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock out all of these really quick I'm gonna put a little purchase blocker graphic on there so you don't see everything that's popping up on the screen and it does take and trust me I've done this enough to really hate the delay but um, it does take a little bit and you'll see the gems kind of pop up whenever it goes through but I've got to wait for, after every single purchase, I've got to wait until the last message goes away or it freezes up. And I've got to, not freezes up, but it it clogs the, the pathways or something and it makes me 
if I want to make another purchase, I've got to close the whole thing down and then reopen it up and then purchase again or else it won't, um, it won't let me do it. So let me go ahead and do this one. And I, like, I, like y'all know, I've got an iPad, so it's got the face ID and all that stuff, and it works most of the time. So right now I'm at the 50, so I'm going to tap that one. And you see the gems starting to go up. Yep, that one worked. There's another one. All right, now I'm at the 100. Sometimes it just doesn't read my face. Might not be enough light in here. I don't know. It's late. So it's so we lost an hour of, of our day, being that we live in the U.S. here, and uh, we still recognize daylight savings time for some reason. That's kind of an antiquated thing, but we still we still do it here. So instead of it being 8.50, it is now 9.50 in the evening. All right, one last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out um, I'm going to read out what you get that we know. Okay. All right. So that's done. And as you can see, that is now reached. Daily limit reached. So on the last one, this is two legendary commander sculptures, which we need, but certainly not worth what was required to get this. Um, a couple things of the nice star bundles, but again, I, this is not my need right now. Certainly not the epic versions. Almost a hundred, well, not even almost a hundred and ten percent don't need these elite stars. The eighteen golden keys are nice, and that's what we're going to be getting into. So the eighteen golden keys and the thirty silver keys. Again, we know the food, wood, stone, gold, VIP points, and gems. And just to give you the number, so I've got it. Here we go. Um, total what i just got was 63 million so almost 64 million food and wood 47.4 million stone and 37.5 million gold okay so from a raw resources standpoint that's what i got and that's on par with pretty much the majority of the other ones uh, i think actually the gold might be a little higher than some of the other ones uh, because it, it ramps up really quickly at the top the top bundle um uh, gem wise so gem wise uh, you get the same amount um, 25 for the top bundle so that's uh, 75,000 altogether there I think altogether it's like 95,000 yeah 95 yeah I think it's actually exactly 95,000 uh, so or 93,000 would be my guess so um, that's that and I definitely can use those 100% uh, I'm waiting for the next uh, spin event to come and whatever that sculpture is is what i'm gonna need and if it's a universal spin i'm gonna spend all 180 times so you can look for that in the future if that's what the next wheel event uh is so you can set your calendar for that one um okay and then again i i do these three every day because again i need charles martel sculptures and that's what i get uh from those bundles and by the way this is the green hue i'm talking about like just assaulting my eyes i cannot wait for that to go away all right so what i also did is i cleared out all of my golden keys my silver keys and my experience tomes so what i have here is what you get from the bundles all the bundles that i just purchased because i cleared out everything i had Okay, that's why my Richard's 57. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these up really quick just to make it easy. So 36 times 50,000. That's 1.8 million. Whoops. 1.8 mil. And then, well, that's 60,000. Not 600,000, sorry. I think that's 640,000. Well, let me do the math. Yeah, 640,000 and then 190,000. So you get 2.6 million, 2.63 million experience just from 
just from the actual purchases. Okay, so here's where I'm here. I think y'all can kind of see where I'm going here. You got the gems, which are important. You got 2.63 million experience. That's basically almost one level, because as you can see up here, 2.82 million is how much experience is needed to level a full level after level 50 on a legendary commander. On a epic commander or on an epic commander, it's 2.35. So you can level a full level on an epic commander above 50 with the full purchase of the living legend bundle, which is crazy. It should be three times that at least um, for how much it is. And then the Richard bundle or the, the Richard level. So being a legendary commander, you can almost level a full level. You're, you're right there. And you probably have at least 500 grand sitting in your XP tome bucket or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So that's where we're starting off at. That's, that's our break even point. What I also did again is, and of course I'm starting to stack up these VIP points guys. So don't, don't get upset at me. <laughs> um, we don't get any, you can tell we don't get any speed ups from that. That's the trade off, right? But what we do get is golden keys. So we got 121 silver keys and, uh, and 68 golden keys. This is where I'm trying to do this with you all so that, and I'm writing this stuff down too. Um, I'm trying to do this stuff with y'all so that you can get the full picture, okay? Of what it is to buy the entire Living Legends bundle, start to finish as much as you can buy in one day and exactly what you get. Because if you look at it again at face value, getting two legendary sculptures and what is it like? maybe six or seven gold well you get six gold you get six legendary sculptures because you purchased the top one three times all the other ones don't have any legendary sculptures by the way um and then you've got the gold stars which you get two bundles of each which again that's six each i'm not really concerned about those you're really buying these for the sculptures so the sculptures and the xp are really what you're buying these for alongside of the gems and you do get some decent resources too but nothing to write home about so what we're going to do is we're gonna open all of these, and I'm not bringing Wyatt in for this one. He's in sleep, <laughs> he's in bed. Um, I'm gonna do these really quick myself. I'm gonna open all on the silver key, and then I'm going to do the 68 one by one, okay? Especially if we get a good open all on the silver key, because I really do think that those things are triggered when you open the tavern up. Um, I, I've just seen that be the case. I've gone through 30 gold keys that had absolute garbage in them because I did them all in one sitting but I did like five at one point and they were garbage and then I left and did something else for maybe 10 minutes and then came back and I started getting some really good stuff consistently for the rest of the keys so I, I don't know maybe it's just weird timing or luck or whatever but either way I'm not too concerned about it. we're going to do some stuff here so okay I've got a free one still so let's open that one this one doesn't count all right so we're going to open all on the silver keys. All right, so this is part of the true value. So pretty decent amount, I'd say this is a pretty decent amount of epic sculptures for for the keys that I got. Um, all right, so that's seven, nine, 12, 13, 15, 16, 20, 21 epic sculptures from the silver key. So I'm writing this stuff down because what I'm gonna do I'm going to put it in the description below as well so you all have it for your reference if you need to come back to it. I'm not going to write down the epic and the uh, adva or the elite and the advanced stuff. It makes absolutely no sense to do that. I will write down the 18 um, epic stars. We're obviously not going to get anything legendary here. Uh, looks like um, 600,000 food. 900,000 wood. We did get some speed ups, nothing crazy, obviously, but what is that? Like six hours plus eight hours, maybe 10 hours, maybe 12 hours of speed ups altogether, which nothing crazy. Um, 22,000 XP plus. 6,000 so I mean another 30,000 XP so I'm not I'm not gonna count that stuff that's just extra okay but you can see what we got all right 
So we got the silver keys out of the way. Let's start going through the gold keys. All right, so there's a 10 right there for Epic. And another five. And another 5K experience. Open another. There's another 7K experience and a gold star, gold bundle star. Three more legendary sculptures. This is going to take a little while, guys, but I appreciate you bearing with me. I want to do this with you. 1K and one epic star. I mean, I'm getting good stuff, right? I mean, especially if I needed these sculptures, this would be fairly worthwhile. I mean, I don't need almost... I think the only one I need so far is, is the Herman. So that's 11,000. And a one-hour speed up, but... It's 2K, and I'm not writing down the um, Gaius or Sarka. There's a star. Two hours of speed ups. There's another star in 3K. There's five Charles sculptures. I need that. I need that really bad. All right. I'm pretty much getting sculptures every time. And I mean, this is a, this could not be the norm, okay? I mean, this sometimes we're getting epic and advanced stuff in golden chess, right? I think we can all kind of hate on ourselves for that. We get those a lot. <laughs> like I just got 15 Gaia sculptures. Who needs that, right? Uh, I did get a st another star and three more epic sculptures. I'm not doing each commander. I'm just writing down how many total epic and legendary sculptures I'm getting. So that's 2K more and another gold star. Epic star, 1K more. So now we're getting to the garbage, right? <laughs> I'm not even gonna write anything on this down. All right, three more epic commanders, and one more K. That's two. There's a ten legendary sculpture, El Cid, and three K. Six more legendary sculptures. I need both of those, and epic star, and another one K. Another 1K. Another 1K. So you see it's starting to stack up is what I'm getting at. Um, and we've still got 50 golden keys, guys. Like this is not even close to over. And I've already gotten 21 legendary sculptures. And I mean, just quick math here, maybe 50 epic sculptures. This is just from keys. This is not from the purchase. So... I want y'all to start getting a grasp on what you're actually getting, and we'll add it all up at the, at the end. So two more epic stars. And, up, you know, the stars are stars. It's not really a huge deal, but um, I do want to kind of document it just to, just to give y'all what you need. Four more epic. Two more epic. And three. Five K more. XP. It's all stacking up, guys. Open. Sarka. Sarka, Sarka, Sarka. There's three more El Cid's. And there was a XP there. I'm getting to the point where I'm not even, not even <laughs> I'm not even doing what I need to be doing. There's another thing of bundled legendary sculptures. And 15k. Of XP, that's good. There's 10k and two epic sculptures. Yeah, we're good there. All right, there's a 10 bay bars. And epic star. All right. 
basically one of each there and one K there's two more man <laughs> I have the best luck with El Cid but the worst luck with Charles I get one Charles but like five El Cid drops I'm not complaining don't take that as complaining I'll take a legendary sculpture anytime I can get it but if I'm gonna get one come on give me the good ones <laughs> right all right another 1k so that's 2k there two more stars all right don't need you that one was a dud there's one legendary star again all right now we're starting to get into the junk here again we still got 35 keys guys um 4k so that is six i'll leave that one at six uh-huh uh, one star, one star, and one K. There's a Sun Tzu, which I already have maxed. But still, 10 legendary, or 10 epic sculptures. And I do see that 150,000 wood over there. I don't think I don't. I will take that all day. It is very costly to train T5 troops here, guys. So, legendary star and two more Herman. 1k, 6k, that's a good one, so three legendary sculptures, and then seven epic sculptures, and one epic star, that's a really good pull, Sarka again, alright, so three more epics, I'm starting to run out of room on the epic sculpture right now, and then 10k on the books. Uh, nothing there. Five Yulji. That's my son's favorite. And 1k. One more star. What was that? Five, eight, ten? Ten k? So I'll just do 11 there, and then one star. Belsarius. Confirm. And 1K. Still got 20 sculptures, guys. This is the slowest key opening ever. But I've got a feeling once we kind of tack all this together, it's going to make some sense. So three more epic sculptures. And we have gotten, I, I want to say, like 20 or 30 hours of speed-ups across the board here. So I don't think we're, we're you know, on this purchase, we're not getting any speed-ups. We're just not getting days of speed-ups, right? I mean, we're not getting 10 days of speed-ups. Five more sculptures. I'm on my third column of sculptures, guys, <laughs> for Epic. 6k more there legendary star starting to kind of tail off here in that in epic 3k more two cleo sculptures and 2k so we'll turn that into a five all right 10 more boudica sculptures and 1k hmm. 4k one of each star and five more Kusunoki sculptures I think I'm six away from maxing him that might be back maxing him three more Herman one epic Three more Joan of Arc, one legendary, and five, 15k experience. That's good. That's a good pull. And Gaius coming in to ruin it. Five Scipio, though, and 5k XP. All right, we're getting to the single digits. 5k. I'm hoping I'm going to get something good here, guys, at the end. That's 10K. Three sculptures and 10K. 
from the last one. Another 10 sculptures. Four K, ten K, twenty K, and a star. So we'll go ahead and write that down. Last one, <laughs> and two stars. All right, all right. So let's do some math together, guys, because that was all the keys that I got from all the Living Legend bundle purchases. And yeah, I was going to say I should be loaded up with stuff to do on the commander button. All right, so I can level up Joan, and she's almost maxed out. Let's go ahead and upgrade her. She just needs one more skill point. I hope I get the first one. I was This was one of my first commanders that I leveled up, and I totally skipped the first one. And I didn't. <laughs> I just want to max the first skill and then I can move on, but it's all done anyway. Um, all right, so let's see. Belsarius, I definitely need you, your sculptures. All right, and I want to say I've actually got, so here's what you get as far as the actual purchases. So I did three of these. So you get six right there. So for the 50, again, oh, you do get one for the 50. So just from the bundles, you get seven. Okay, so two on each of the top ones, and then one on the the, the, the second of the top one. Okay, so that's seven. And then you also add to that, so 15, 21, 24, 26, 28, 31. So 38 total legendary sculptures. This is what we got. 38 legendary sculptures. We got, I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no epic sculptures that you get from the bundle here, but let's do the math. It's, it's pretty high. Uh, I want to say we're, we're over a hundred. Let me, um, let me add them up really quick, guys. Thanks for being patient. You get 157 epic sculptures. Hundred and fifty seven epic sculptures. And I'm I'm not gonna do the math on the XP here, but we'll just estimate it. Um I would say two hundred thousand, maybe two hundred I'll say two hundred and fifty thousand XP on top of everything else, which isn't a whole lot but um it's not bad that's two rounds of um temple guardians so nothing to sneeze at right um and then stars wise again we got um uh, about 20 30 we got 40 epic stars and 11 legendary stars plus a bundled star uh, two bundled stars so all in all i mean from a from a sculpture standpoint is it w worth it well i mean is it ever are any of these things ever worth it <laughs> when you're when you're purchasing it that high is it ever worth it uh, you know it's all it's all in what you're trying to get out of it right if you're again if you're looking at it on paper um and when i say paper i mean if you're looking at it just here no not even close even even for the purpose of what i'm trying to do here which is to get legendary sculptures seven sculptures for this amount of money is absurd but in reality once you factor the keys in and yes i know there's some luck attached to this there's absolutely some luck attached to this but was that my best key opening absolutely not go a couple videos back you'll see a fantastic key opening i was getting Legendary sculptures almost every single pull. 
Um, so I would say that's the average, maybe a little bit above. I think I've gotten a lot worse before as well. So maybe a little bit above average is what I would say that that last gold chest opening was. Um, but again, certainly not out of the realm of normal. I think that's within the normal range. Um, so again, that that spending for almost 40 legendary sculptures, you figure on a wheel, on a wheel event, if you if you do one full day spin, so six, you get to spin sixty times in one day, that's about forty two thousand gems. So as far as gems go, that's about one hundred and fifty bucks, roughly. If you were to put that into that, I think a full day's worth of sculptures may net you about thirty, maybe twenty five. Without the bonuses, without the bonuses, twenty to twenty-five, I think, is more realistic. Without the the chests that go along with the wheel, um, so all in all, I mean, that's pretty close. Uh, and then again, I still have all my gems, so I can use these gems on a wheel event or on an event that's going to give me twenty. Uh, 20 legendary sculptures, something like that. Now we've got one of those events going on right now um from the ground up right yeah we've got a member in our alliance that has joined us and is just killing it on power right now because he's he's ranking up fast kind of like what what i did so um i'm not going to fight against this there's really no reason to i'm already way behind i didn't even put anything into it i've already got almost all my buildings upgraded so there's not really much for me to speed rush on the building side so he's got this one. There's no, um, there's no reason for me to go after it. But the rewards are twenty sculptures. This is something to go after, if it were research power, or if it or research speed ups, or if it were just total power, or you know whatever whatever it may be. It's it's worth going after for twenty universal sculptures certainly. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, I put this together because I wanted to give you the true sense of what it is to go through an entire Living Legend bundle and give you exactly what you're going to be getting um, from a value standpoint. Yes, it's probably still a bad value in a sense that for what you're getting, that, that money could have been better spent, especially if you're upgrading buildings on City of Hope or if you're rushing to T5 much better spent on fountain of wisdom you need every speed up that you can get okay but once that's done it's actually not bad and it's certainly not as bad as we've all made it to sound so i would say that living legend has its purpose it's not for the free-to-play player certainly because you're spending money first off but second off it's a very it, it's the exception it's not the rule um, you use it for a very specific niche purpose it's not there as hey I need to buy a bundle today let's buy that one no you get that because you want to level up your commanders you want to get as many legendary sculptures as you can to level up your legendary skills same thing with epics a hundred and almost 160 epic sculptures that's pretty substantial you need a you need roughly what 500 ish 490 um, Go check out my other sculpture video. I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, it's like roughly 500. Uh, maybe it's a little bit higher. Almost 600 for the epic. Um, to max out an epic commander. So these go a long way. Uh, it, it'll it'll take you pretty far. And, it, and again, this is why the whales do it. Because if you do this every single day, that's like 300 between the stuff that you're getting in the game and events and the VIP shop, which I need to buy really quick, which is also why I bought the, in fact, let's go ahead and do that right now and give you all a taste of that. So I'm getting these every week, guys. I, I, I thought I might get it just to, you know, um, do it every once in a while. I'm getting it every week. I need it. There it is, 40,000 gems gone. <laughs> I need it. I need it. And it's the only way that I can guarantee that I'm going to get that number of sculptures every week they're gone so they're now my pack um 
And again, these are good to get, especially during Mightiest Governor. Uh, or again, if there's a training event that will give you a legendary sculptures, I would purchase those to use for that. Um, some other things that I need to get as well, because the weekly reset just happened. Um, definitely getting speed ups, because I need those for my archers whenever they come online. So I'm gonna get all the speed ups. I'll get all those as well. Hmm. I'm, I'm always tempted to buy those keys. I am always tempted. I am always so tempted to buy those keys, but 12,000 for that. Maybe on another video this week, I'll grab them and do those for you. I think I've already burned enough keys today as it is. All right. Well, again, I hope y'all get uh, y'all got something out of that. Um, I'm gonna post a lot of this data in the description so that uh, you'll have it for your reference. Please watch the whole video because I think there's a lot of value to that. You can skip through the parts where I'm staring down at my um, <laughs> my paper writing. Um, but other than that, again, I do want to thank each and every one of you. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. I can taste it. If you have not subscribed, please, please smash that button. Uh, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell so you'll see whenever I post a new video. I'm pretty much posting a video every every day uh, at this point. Maybe um, maybe two or three a day sometimes and then I'll skip a day because of work or family or whatever but for the most part I'm, I'm posting almost every day so you're gonna get some new content every time I put something um, in the channel it's not fluff it is uh, content that's gonna help you out and give you more information so that you can make good decisions in the game spend your money wisely spend your time wisely and uh, hopefully uh, end up conquering your world because that's the whole point um, we're coming up to kingdom versus kingdom and uh, we're now rise of kingdoms so Let's make it a good kingdom and enjoy ourselves in the process. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, again, like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all and take care. I will see y'all next time. Cheers.